Okay, so in, in this video what we're going to be doing is uh, showing the FAL instruction. Um, this is, again, this is to show the working environment. This is version 28.11. Um, this is the emulated uh, system. So something very, very simple just to show um, the process being used. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download and then we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, do the program in itself. So just kind of bear with me real quick, just while it downloads. Shouldn't take long at all. It's an empty program. And again, this is going to be under the uh, FAL instruction. So that's a, it's a very helpful instruction if you're trying to copy stuff. Um, copy, um, just I'll show you a couple of different methods that you can do, like all um you can copy all you can copy just increments and stuff of that nature so let's get get started with that <clears throat> so again what we can do is we can just type it in up here or uh, you could have come over to i believe it's file so if you wanted to let's just delete that <clears throat> you can go to file and actually do that so what we'll do um so this instruction, once uh, you got to have the control of it, so basically your your tag structure for this instruction that they have, this is basically what where you put in. So you're going to make this tag, um, and in this case we'll say fal control, something simple, right? And nothing nothing real elaborate, and then that's that's made so uh, our length is going to be based upon basic um, the arrays that we have <clears throat> so we know how many arrays that we want to actually move so in our case um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have 10 we'll have 10 arrays and I'll explain this to you in a minute um, we'll start out with moving all but just know you can do all or increment them um, first and foremost we'll just do all and then next what we want to do is start making our what we're going to be doing is is moving different um, arrays and, and stuff of that nature so what we want to do is, is uh, create an array for that so we'll call this uh, array one or let's just call this data one for that matter and then let's create uh, the dimensions of that the, the dimensions of the array would be um, 10 so now we have that in there right and then this one would be uh, data 2 and then again we want to put the dimensions as 10 right so then we'll do that so now <clears throat> what we want to do is actually we want to move the stuff that's inside of data two or I'm sorry let's let's move these around let's change this to data uh, two and then let's change this to data one actually I did that wrong let's change this to data two and let's change this to data one so that's right so we want to move the, the stuff that's in data 2 into data 1. And that, that'll be, I know it's kind of confusing, so actually let's just line it up better for you. Um, that way it, it's it's easy to see. So we'll keep this as the stuff that's in data 2, we want to move into data 1. Okay, so um, what we do is now we want to actually indirect address this. As we want to put our brackets. And then we want to put... FAL so basically you can come up here and copy this we can copy that and just paste it in there paste and then we want to use the position and then put our brackets so again that didn't take so uh, let me just type that out data one And then we want to put our brackets and we'll put FAL K 
control dot POS okay so now we want to do the same thing we want to add the the position of this into uh, the data too so we'll, again we'll put our brackets we'll put our instruction the the, the uh, control then we'll put again the position so the posi it keeps track of the position it, it's in so basically we're going to be using indirect addressing to address to each one of these so that way we know exactly where we're at and we're going to put the position that obviously that's going to be a zero and then we're going to put a bit in front of this so we're not going to index this until we choose to so we'll call this uh, move data and then we'll put that as we'll just name it as name data command or move data command right so <clears throat> first and foremost we got to go into our data and see that there's nothing in there right <clears throat> so we got to see that there's nothing in in data right now and what we're trying to do is move the stuff that's in data 2 into data 1, right? So what we need to do, with that being said, is we need to put data into data data 2, right? If we're trying to move the stuff that's in data 2 into data 1, let's go ahead and put some data into that uh, system. So for just the sake of what we're doing, uh, we'll put 10, then we'll put We'll put 20 here, 30, 40, 50, 60, actually 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, so now we have data inside data 2, right? And we have nothing inside data 1. So now let's go ahead and shift that okay so now we just moved the data that was inside inside of um, data 2 into data 1 so you see how that just how easy that was and basically it did it off the position so to see this a lot easier then I'll show you this <clears throat> to see how this happens a lot easier is we'll change the the um, instruction from an all to an increment and that way you get to see it go one by one so actually uh, we can change this <coughs> actually let, let's put that back the way it was <coughs> So view and then organize. Okay, so what we want to do is change the data that's in here now. And we'll call this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, five 6. So all we're going to do is change the data and then we'll watch it actually change itself when we do an increment okay so now what we have in data 1 is 10 through 90 what we have in data 2 is 1 through 9 okay so now let me go ahead and uh, let's pull that up and then shrink this so that you can see because our screen um, our rung that we're doing is not very big at all so what I want to do is kind of show you how it's it will index and maybe I should bring that up just a little bit more <clears throat> okay so now that we have that what we're going to do is we're going to index it now okay so it indexed the first one index the second one 
So you see how it's indexing? It's moving what is in the control position. So the control itself, the, the, the POS, the position it's in, is indirect addressing to that one uh, part of that array. So we know we have a length of that array is at 10. So we're basically going from one is directing it to the first array, right? So that now the next thing is going to do is go to the second array. <clears throat> so it's, it's incrementing down, right? So now every time it counts, it's going to indirect address to the next bar. So we'll just keep on cycling that, right? So you kind of get how the point. Now, if we did again to that point, if we did all instead of increment, then it's going to move all of the data at once. You see that? See how easy that was? So this instruction, the reason I wanted to kind of show this instruction is, is how powerful it is. You can do a lot of stuff with this instruction. Um, just know that you know it's it's mainly good for moving data around or um i'm not even gonna you, you can use it for other stuff as well i mean the the, the possibilities are kind of endless um you know rockwell probably has a, a many different ways you know they build instructions and <clears throat> with that instruction you know you come in and and you come up with di just different ideas um again their their main thing was moving arrays around um so that's kind of the one of the big highlights that they they uh, their main driving point for using this, um, even in their uh, flow charts and stuff like that, um, it just shows the bits being used. It shows exactly how that that diagram I just showed. Um, it shows array two, array one. Uh, it's the same basic principle, right? So um, and then you but you can do a lot of different stuff, right? So you can do uh, this. Just a whole bunch of stuff. So even right here, you can get as complex as this. You know, this is showing that uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. So it's it's basically saying that the indirect address of this is going to go into array two. The indirect indirect address is going to go into the array three. Whatever those two you want to divide by, and then have that going to the indirect address going to one. So you can actually do a mathematical equation and come up with something, and that's exactly what that expression says. So if you look at that. So you, there's a lot of things you can really kind of do with this in, um, instruction. I just highlighted one of the two most simplest things to kind of get you, your thought pattern going and get you thinking about you know some possibilities on using this instruction. Um, this has been around for quite some time, so um, it's not nothing new. Um, the way you can control it and the way you do things with it um, is completely up to you. Like I said, um, programming is all about logic, and it's all if you can think it, you can do it. So uh, why not show as many different attributes and, and stuff of that nature as we can? So again, I'll go ahead and close out this video. And um, for those that are interested in seeing more stuff like this and showing uh, more uh, elements and it's just programming in general, um, you can go to my, um, visit my, uh, I'll have a link below, either my Patreon, uh, you can, you can join and, and be a Patreon for, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty low cost per month, but, um, and, and again, that's, that's there to support my efforts and stuff like that. So you don't feel like you need to, but I am throwing extra stuff in there that I, I don't throw anywhere else. So, um. I, I am putting stuff in there that only only the people that support the Patreon account will get. So again, this is this is type stuff that uh, you know it's it's just some some different stuff, right? I've been doing a lot of servo stuff lately, so <clears throat> so I kind of wanted to venture out and show you know some more basic stuff and and show some more um, you know just just different different ways of programming. Okay, so uh, hopefully that video was uh, enlightening and helped you out. And again, I'll have my uh, link below. If you're interested, check it out. Okay. Thank you.